Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to my top 10 Transformers of 2021 figure review collection top 10 you know how this works it's 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 the 10 figures that I've liked most from this past year so I'm not really going to do this in any kind of order oh, before I go on I hope that everybody had a good Christmas and a happy new year uh, for those of us in England did you see the the amazing fireworks display in London. That's one to remember, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on. Uh, yes, uh, I'm going to do this in no particular order. These are just my favourite figures that I picked up this year. Now, um, I will say that the vast majority of these are going to be third party figures because honestly I, I, I like the mainline stuff. The mainline stuff has been pretty good, but when it came down to me choosing just 10 of my favorite figures i have to say the third party just smashed it really so let's start then and i am going to start with this chap and this is of course transmutate made by trans arts a company that i had not heard of at the beginning of last year um but i'm now a massive fan of um my first figure from them was their oh what did they call it Deal something up the, the trans metal cheetor which I love um, and when I found out that they had done this transmutate figure I really wanted one long story short couldn't find one they released re-released it and I managed to get one and uh, yeah so this is the chap I don't know if you have seen my review of um, I, I shouldn't say chap really because I've always just seen transmutate as um, genderless because and it's not really female it's not really male it's um they're somewhere in between i know how they feel so yes um this this i love this figure this figure is it obviously it doesn't transform because it's transmutate um i also know that the character is one of those ones you either love or you hate and i love them i love their story um i, I always kind of hate that part in beast wars though because after transmutate story which off the top of my head i can't remember i think it was just called transmutate um comes code of hero so i find myself basically in tears for a good 40 minutes <laughs> i don't care um but yes i love this figure this is a great figure i uh, if you did see my review when i got this figure you know that they did have an issue with the spine but with the re-release Transart actually put some things in so you could fix it so if you do have this figure and you want to see how to fix it then do go check out that review I will put links to all of my reviews for this top 10 in the description box but yeah I think this is a really well done figure without the fixes to the spine it was kind of yeah but with the fixes to the spine I think they they really they knocked it out of the park with Transmutate, and I'm just glad to have one that, that is so show accurate. So right, that's the first one. Let me get on to the second one, and I will be right back. So next up is this absolutely stunning rendition of a T-Beast Starscream. I have done a review for this, but I haven't actually uploaded it to the channel yet. But I, I will do that because it... Oh, this figure is just outstanding i love it it looks amazing in robot mode it looks yeah i mean it's got it's got some issues in its beast mode the the beast mode from the front looks amazing but from the back it's not so good <laughs> but um but the robot mode is what really sells this figure for me i mean I don't have the book that these are based on because it's horrifically expensive i'd love to get one one day um but from the the pictures that I've seen this is pretty much spot on to the to the drawings in a book and it's just a gorgeous figure and it wasn't expensive either I think that's what really surprises me with these third party figures is that oh, he's gonna go he's a bit he's slightly wobbly if you don't have him planted correctly um, but yeah this is what surprises me most about these third party figures they are bringing out amazing figures like this for next to no money and we're getting 
well, the, the mainline Hasbro stuff is getting progressively more expensive and um, the quality is reducing. So again, this is why quite a lot of these figures on this top 10 are third party because they're just so good. Um, yes, I realise that I he's not standing correctly now, but that's because I fiddled with him and I'm trying to do this with one hand. So let me see if I can get him to stand. Go. You just have to balance him right, but he's amazing for the price. He has um, he has these gorgeous light up eyes. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, let me just turn the lights off a minute. Let me see if we can get that to show up a bit better. Oh, there you go. So you get the idea. He's got these beautiful light up eyes. Um, the cockpit section does also light up. It's a bit fiddly to get in there, so I didn't bother with that for now. But uh, I do show that off in the main review. He's packed with articulation. Um, I will say that the, the head is not my favourite sculpt for Starscream, but I think in context with the rest of the figure, it really works. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a great figure. I just think it's it's a if if you are into these, I think you can't go wrong with this figure. It's super cheap, it's quality, and it's just. It's just jam-packed with articulation. But yeah, so that's that's that one. So uh, let's move on to something different. So next up is um, this gorgeous figure of War for Cybertron Shockwave by Planet X. And um, I, I have done a review of this figure, but I was still reviewing for Fingers on Plastic when I did this one. But I will leave a link so you can watch the full review. But yes, um, many of you will know that I am an absolute mad Shockwave fan. So I had to have at least one Shockwave on my top 10 for this year. And this one, um, yeah, I, I will be honest that I knew practically nothing about Planet X before I bought this. But after buying this, I've now bought a whole bunch of their stuff. So yeah, um, th this guy pretty much um, stands in for all of my Planet X figures that I've bought this year. But obviously it had to be this one, it had to be Shockwave that I showed off. And he's a gorgeous figure. The, the colour of him is just sublime. He's, it's such a rich, deep purple. It just suits him so well. And other than a little bit of fiddling with the transformation, he, he's fun to he's fun to play with, you know. He's um, he's just a really nice shockwave. Um, when I put him up against the official Takara versions of these, because I, I don't I didn't get the uh, Hasbro ones, I got the Takara versions. Um, you can see how much better Planet X has done with this idea, with this concept of shockwave. I mean, obviously, it was more money, so uh, yeah, not too much because I had to import mine. But yeah, baseline figure, retail price, he was more money. But he's worth every penny. He, he's just gorgeous. And he he looks good on the shelf as well. He's, he's definitely got a presence there. He's so, um, you know, because like Megatron is like a grey and just sort of, he just looks so good stood next to Megatron. He's like a counterpoint to that Megatron figure. So yeah, the only issue I really have with this figure is that the cannon doesn't hold onto his arm very well. But other than that, you know, he, he's just stunning. He's absolutely gorgeous and he had to be on the list. So yeah, that's my War for Cybertron. Well, one of my War for Cybertron figures anyway, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's have a look at something else. And right on the heels of Shockwave is another one of my favourite figures, and this is Soundwave. I love the two waves. They're my two favourites, and they have been since G1. Absolutely adore them. And this is, of course, the Earthrise version of Soundwave which is, again, an absolutely stonking figure. I did say that, you know, they're not all third-party figures on the list, but, uh, yeah, I had to have a sound wave on the list, and um, they pretty much got this one bang on. You know, he's got the red eyes. He, he just, you know, he turns into a cassette deck. That's it. That's all he needs to do. Um, and, yeah, he's just, he's 
gorgeous figure. I don't know while I'm talking about this figure, just give a shout out to Odimus Prime again because uh, it was Odimus Prime who found this for me. Couldn't find one where I lived. Um, so yeah, he managed to get this for me. So still really appreciate appreciative <laughs> rather of that. So thanks again, Odimus. Uh, so yeah, um, obviously he does come with a little laser beak and a little ravage, but I just I left those upstairs because you all know what they look like. But yeah, he's a great figure. Um, he's just he's he's just cool. It, you know, he's a remold of the siege one, but I don't I don't really care. You know, he looks good. So when remolds are done well, I don't mind. It doesn't bother me. You know, but yeah, um, again, this is another figure that I reviewed for Fingers on Plastic so I'll leave a link to that in the description so you can go and have a look at that if you so desire but yeah I, um, I'm really glad I have one of these I would have been gutted if I'd have not got one because you know it's sound wave isn't it but yeah so I think that's all I have to say about this guy so let's move on to something else all right so next up is another Beast Wars figure and um, I I wasn't really sure which one of these to do. I wasn't sure whether to do Covert Agent or um, the Steel... Oh, flipping heck, I've forgotten what it's called still. They're Cheetor. This is this is Transart's Covert Agent, which, of course, is Ravage, as he was seen in Beast Wars. And um, it was a toss-up about which one to do, because they're effectively both the same. There are differences in them, but for the most part, it's the same transformation and everything. And yes, I know I have the Beast Wars pause on him. Oh, excuse me, the Beast Mode pause on him. That's because I had him in Beast Mode and I completely forgot that I needed to change these out. So yeah, that's why he's got those on. But yeah, it'll do for this. You're only having a quick look at him. But yes, um, so basically he stands in also for Cheetor because those are two amazing figures. I absolutely love them both. And as I said, they are pretty much the same. But yeah, this was another figure that just sort of came out of left field. I mean, once we'd seen that they were doing Cheetor, everybody sort of went, yeah, they're going to do this Ravage as well. And uh, obviously they did. And they've done a really good job. I mean, it, it, <laughs> it looks so good. And do you know the weird thing? Well, it's not weird. It, it kind of goes back to what I was talking about a little earlier about the prices of mainline figures this ravage with all the accessories that he came with was cheaper than the whatever they're calling it pulse con exclusive ravage that is just a pretty rough redeco and slight remold of the already crappy cheetor mold the kingdom cheetor mold this is so much better why would you not want this why would you rather have that i mean for me personally maybe you do and if you do let me know i'm always always interested to hear what people think but for me personally this is so much better than that i mean he's chock full of articulation he's bang on screen accurate i mean look at that face he's just he's, he's just right it's just perfect he's gorgeously shiny the sheen on him is amazing and you know what the best bit is he doesn't have any bloody feet hanging off of his knees look at those knees that's the way ravage should look so yeah i i love this figure and um yeah once i knew how much the the pulse con version was going to be i was like no thanks i've already got a perfectly good ravage so yeah this guy had to be on the list i absolutely love him but let's have a look at some more stuff shall we Yes. And here we are with another outstanding third party figure. See, I said I did warn you at the top that there were going to be a lot of these. Uh, yeah, this is Fans Hobby's take on Go Shooter, and uh, this is Ace Hitter. And after getting their Athena, which is Minerva, last year, there was no way I wasn't going to pick this up. Um, I also have Cab coming. So that'll probably be, just spoiler alert, that's probably going to be on next year's top 10. Because <laughs> I already know it's going to be amazing because they've already made two fantastic figures. Well, the the smaller Headmaster ones anyway. And um, yeah, the, the, it's it's Ghost Shooter. It's, it looks exactly like him. It, it's, it's perfect in every possible way. The transformation is fun. He, he's screen accurate. 
I, oh, the articulation is outstanding. He's he's really well articulated, um, and they have improved as well upon the Minerva mold because Minerva had a whole thing where you had to take this whole section off and put it back on again um, and she had some issues transforming as well but um, yeah they they I think they've they tidied the figure up a lot it, it's don't get me wrong I'm not saying this this is a remold of that because I don't think it is it's just that I think the the Minerva had some issues that this one doesn't so yeah but he's just absolutely gorgeous um he couldn't not be on my list because as I don't know how many of you do know but I'm a massive fan of the Japanese series. I mean, pretty much anything Japanese, to be honest. It's not just Transformers. I love pretty much everything Japanese. Um, and uh, I absolutely adore Victory. It's my favourite out of the three Japanese G1 cartoons. So to see that fans Hoppy were... Ma Hoppy? Fans Hoppy? No, that's not right. No, I'm making rabbits. Uh, to see that fans Hobby were making these Victory figures... I couldn't be happier, and I will buy them all because, I mean, they're just outstanding. They're gorgeous. So, yeah, can't wait for more of these. So, right, let's see what else is on this list then, shall we? Yeah, I know. This is a bit of a cheat. I know it's supposed to be top ten figures of the year, but I couldn't decide which one of these to include in the link, uh, in the list, rather. So, I'm having a cheat, and I'm doing them both because they're just they're outstanding figures um obviously this is transform elements black arachnia and scorponok from beast wars and again these are just outstanding figures the black arachnia is just beautiful and she's so cartoon accurate she's just bang on and they made her so diddy she's so small and she scales perfectly with Silver Bolt. The two of them look just gorgeous together. If Transform Element make a Silver Bolt, or even actually if, if Trans Art make a Silver Bolt in the same scale that they've been making their Beast Wars figures, this is going to go perfectly well with that. She's going to look amazing. And yeah, and then obviously the cheap figure is Scorponok, but again, he just looks outstanding. My only sort of nitpick with him is the way that all of this is left on his chest. But honestly, the, aside from that, the robot mode is stonking. And the beast mode, again, like Black Arachnia's beast mode, just, just bang on. I don't know how they've done it. It's like some sort of transforming magic that they've got them to look so good in both modes. And I, you saw me review this. And I love it so much. And then I reviewed Kingdom Scorponok. And that's just a pile of crap. And I said at the time, if you're looking for a Scorponok figure, this is the one to go for. And I have not changed my opinion on that. If if you're after Beast Wars figures, I know these are smaller scale. These are a legend scale. But if you're after Beast Wars figures that look like Beast Wars figures... These are the ones to go for, guys. These are just outstanding figures. They're so beautiful and they look so good on a shelf. So, yes, apologies for the little cheat, but it is only this one this year. I did loads of cheats last year, <laughs> but yeah. So, um, yeah, let's see what's next. So, going from the smallest on my list to one of the biggest. Well, he's the biggest on the list. He's not the biggest I bought this year, but he's definitely the biggest on the list. Uh, this is, of course, a Mega Supreme from Planet X's Fall of Cybertron, War for Cybertron line. And, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's, he's a chunky monkey, isn't he? He's properly large. Uh, I, I did start a review on this guy, and... Um, I just kind of abandoned it halfway through because he's so big and I have such a small space to review in. It was just really difficult trying to review him. That said, if anybody would like to see a review, then do let me know because it is half filmed. All I really got to do is film the transformation and the um, the alt mode, which does look pretty stonking. But yeah, he's amazing. He's uh, He's got a bit of stuff on his head. That's where I dusted him. See, I do dust occasionally. Uh, yeah, he's just, he's fantastic. I mean, 
this is the reissue one so this is the one that's got the more metallic paint on it and i have to say i do really like it i like the metallic paint i think it's it just makes him look so much better he's just he's, he just pops you know uh i'm i'm glad to have one because he's just he's an outstanding figure but yeah i'm not gonna move him around or anything because he's just too big <laughs> he's too big to to fiddle with in this space uh i don't know what else to say about him um he's fun he's uh he's fun he's big and he looks amazing so yeah this is the other planet x figure honestly my entire top 10 could have been just all planet x figures because they're just so good like i said with the shockwave one i didn't realize just how good these figures were but yeah they are outstanding so yeah so that's it for this one two more spots to go right so here's my other official figure and i'm sorry that it is only two official figures as i said at the top there were just so many good third party ones this year so yeah but i did make it count with the sound wave and with this gorgeous reformatted galvatron this is one of the last official transformers i'll be getting for a while um i don't care for anything that's been shown in legacy i was really hyped for the prime figures but they all look horrible so i won't be buying any of those and there's really nothing else i, I mean i like kickback but i don't need a deluxe class kickback it's just too big where's he gonna go anyway regardless this is one of the last official transformers i bought this year um I actually think it might be the last one. Oh no, I tell a lie. I, I did a couple. I got a couple of others, but um, yeah, this is the last one that I really enjoyed. This one put a smile on my face. Like very few official Transformers have done this year, especially the first version of this. But I'll be totally honest. That has very little to do with the mold itself, and everything to do with Hasbro's response to the misassembled shoulders. I'm not going to get into that. You all know my feelings about that. Um, but yes, I got this one and I got the Toy Colors one and both of those I love. I think they're fantastic. But out of the three, this is my absolute favorite. I just love the way this guy looks. He's just beautiful. There's nothing wrong on him. There's no paint slop. Everything's been done to a high standard for a change, Hasbro, thank you. And... Um, ironically it worked out cheaper than the initial release because you know it's uh, it came with all those extra bits which are fantastic to go with the unicron i don't have <laughs> but that, that's that's a whole other story but as you can see this is an absolutely awesome figure and i am a sucker for clear plastic as well i think a lot of you will know that by now and yeah, he's purple, which is, after green, it's my second favourite colour. So yeah, he looks amazing. I just... I, I've actually seen um, Dazatron from Dazatron's Diorama Llama. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. It's amazing. He has just shown us some pictures of this Galvatron with the RED series reformatted Megatron. Oh man, they look amazing together, so I have to get that figure. But it's 2022 now, so yeah, let's see how that goes. But yeah, this is the other official figure on my list. I do absolutely love it. But there's one more figure, and um, I love it more than this. So let's come back to that in a moment. Right, so I'm going to finish up with this guy. Um, and that's not because he's my favourite, although to be fair, it probably is. Uh, it's because I had to transform him and I really didn't want to. <laughs> I last transformed this thing in my review of it and I was not looking forward to transforming it again. So, yeah, um, this is Lemon Tree's Purple Potato, a.k.a. Shockwave, who transforms into the Revenge which is an amazing concept and for the most part it works really well but i yeah i've, I've had issues with him um the way his feet transform at the time i accidentally broke a piece off and transforming him back i'm sad so i've just broken a couple of tabs off the back as well so yeah that's probably more me being cack handed than it is the figure but the instructions are um 
I mean, to say that they're basic is uh, is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> these are the tra these are the these are the instructions, and as you can see, they're not massively helpful. Also, it requires way more stages than shown here. But that said, it's a really good figure, and I do really like it. It's um, I, the concept alone. Oops. Uh, not the camera there we go the concept alone is fantastic i mean i would have never have thought to have a shockwave figure turn into the revenge so that alone is is worth having one for um but the the robot mode is is pretty decent as well i mean it's quite clearly shockwave uh it looks great yeah um where did I put the Planet X one? Yeah. No, this isn't a full review, obviously, but there's the Planet X one. So, you know, you get an idea. This thing is massive. He's just so big. I mean, he's way past leader class. He's, he's, he's going up to commander class, honestly. And for the price, I paid $110 for him, which at the time, the beginning of 2021, was about 85 quid it's just amazing for 85 quid this thing is outstanding uh yeah like i said a couple of bits are broken but yeah uh you can see if you've seen my review uh i'll put a link to it again it's on fingers on plastic but yeah i broke a bit off of here and i've just broken a couple of tabs off here but uh, it's because i haven't transformed it in a year and i just forgot how it went and really, I should have looked at my own review of it, but I didn't. So, yeah. But that aside, me being a klutz aside, this figure is amazing. And if you are competent at transforming more complex figures, then this should be right up your alley because it's it's properly decent. And the only bits of the ship you can really see are the bits on his back. And even then, if you, if you ask somebody who wasn't into Transformers... What do you think this transforms into? Not a chance they're going to say, oh, that's the ship that was in the movie. Not a chance. So, yeah, um, finishing off with this guy, I think, is, uh, is a good way to go because he's just fantastic. He's a brilliant figure, and I would highly, highly recommend him to anyone interested. So, yeah, that's it for my top ten. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's probably run over a little bit longer than I expected it to, but, you know, me, that always happens um this is the first of three top 10 videos i have coming out because i collect so many different things i thought it was only really fair to give each property its own video so this one obviously is top 10 transformers the next one will be top 10 dinosaurs for you jurassic fans out there and the final one will be top 10 everything else so other action figures that i have purchased over the last 12 months so i hope you tune in for those but if you don't if you're only interested in the transformers ones then i appreciate you watching i hope you've enjoyed please leave me a comment let me know what you've thought of this video because i always appreciate the interaction but that's it for this one so as always thank you for watching do take care of yourselves and have a fantastic 2022 bye for now